Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Deep Cuts Reactions, and my name's Greg, and you know, I had done part of my videos earlier, you know, and then I uh, kicked back to have dinner and stuff and all that kind of kind of crap, and so anyway, I, I was kind of gearing up for it, you know, I was watching the end of some movie and stuff, and you know, while I'm finishing up eating, and, and uh, so all of a sudden, my phone just blows up, you know, with warnings, and, uh, like, what the hell, you know, I mean, the, you know, I thought maybe it was an amber alert or something like that, you know, because the skies had been clearer and all that, it was no big deal, no weather, and so I, I pull up the, the radar, and holy shit, man, this storm just kind of came up from nothing, I mean, there was nothing, and within 30 minutes, this storm had, had blown up, and become severe to the point where, you know, there were baseball size uh, hailstones, and, you know, that'll really ruin your day, <laughs> so, you know, you want to, you definitely want to come in, uh, but it's gonna, it's gonna slide to the, the east of us a little bit, you know, but it may still get a little noisy out there, so I don't know, but I just love it, man, it's so, it's so cool when that happens, and, you know, I was out in the backyard, and, uh, you know, the storms to the east and the sun setting in the west and there's a beautiful, beautiful rainbow and I'm looking at this rainbow and and uh, then there's lightning dancing all around it and uh, it was so cool. And then I, I look to the, uh, to the north a little bit and all of a sudden there's these clouds that are just, just booking it due east into the storm, you know, because the storm, you know, these kind of severe storms, they, they breathe, it's like they're alive, you know, and so they take a big breath and suck in everything around them, you know, I mean, to, to help energize the storm, it's just, oh, it's such a turn on, you know, I love it, and, uh, you know, in a lot of places, yeah, you've got the mountains or other places, maybe you've got the ocean, here in Oklahoma, you've got the sky, and it's uh, it can be awesome. So uh, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and try to play some music here, and hopefully, uh, you know, there won't be any. <laughs> hopefully, the you know the lightning won't hit real close or anything like that, to where it makes a lot of noise. But anyway, I wanted to play something off this uh, this old Jethro Tull album, and, and I I think I'd played this like two two and a half years ago, something like that. But it's off of a. Their album Stand Up, which came out in '69, it was their second album, and uh, man, I remember when I bought this sucker. It was so cool, you know, because you, you take it home, and it looks like it's uh, you know a double album or something, or you know, it's it's one of those that you open up, you know, so it's uh, it's got a you know inside cover and all that, and you you take off the cellophane, and then you open it up, and <laughs> it's got. It's got like these little cutout figures of all the guys in Jethro Tull that stand up. I mean, it was really cool. You know, they do that now with uh, greeting cards and stuff. You know, but but back then it was a <laughs> it was a, it was a mindfuck when <laughs> when you open it up and you know all these these guys stand up. It was I don't know. It was just really neat. And then the uh, the cover was kind of like metallic copper. It was very cool. Very cool. But anyway. Uh, Man, those first couple, I guess the first three albums, I thought were so good. I, I didn't like Aqualung as much, and then after that, you know, I just wasn't as interested as, as much as I was for, for the first three. And uh, this is New Day Yesterday, and so let's just go ahead and play it. Death were Tall. <laughs> Some fun. 
That's so good. <laughs> I've forgotten about how good that is. It's such a well-constructed song, and you know all the instrumentation is is so cool. That bass man was just—he was—he was really going after it and doing great bass lines. I mean, they were really great, and uh, uh, a lot of time it sounded like he had a whole lot of fuzz on the on the bass, which was very cool. And then the drummer was just man. I mean. <laughs> Really fast drummer, really fast drummer, and laying down some cool beats on that, uh, you know, just, I don't know. And then the guitars were, were outrageous. They were doing so much stuff, and, you know, all this is on, on uh, you know, I've got the headphones, so it's like I was listening to it, you know, with my old big-ass speakers and turntable and shit, you know, to where the, uh, the, the different channels are coming out the different speakers, you know, so the the sound moves around and when Ian Anderson was coming in with that flute you know it's over here and then it changes pitch a little bit and then it's right here in the middle it was just really effective and you know the rest of the instruments are kind of wailing across too and uh, I don't know very well very well done and uh, you know great lyrics and but beyond that the production on that sucker was so so good so tight and the way that they were treating Ian Anderson's voice was uh, was really neat, really neat. Anyway, like I say, those first three albums, man, I just thought they were so wonderful. There was such a such a great blues element to it, and uh, you know, but, but not blues, I mean, but elements of it in there. And, uh, and oh yeah, that harmonica was really good too. I'm not sure who was playing, it, playing that, if that was Ian Anderson or, or what, but probably. But anyway, uh, Man, I hope you liked that. That was a great song. So I will be back, I think, and play one more. We'll see. See what the storm does. <laughs> anyway, uh, hit like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and all that good stuff, and we will see you all then. Bye-bye.